What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Easy Root, and I'm back doing the number one. I need you guys to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon for more videos like this. With that being said, let's get into the video. Bob Arum just shut down the potential matchup between Naoya Inoue and Javante Tank Davis. We're going to go ahead and listen to what Bob Arum had to say. And we're going to chime in. No, we had a spectacular win in, in Japan, um, and, and he just looked phenomenal. Um, recent interview that Floyd did uh, where he mentioned that he maybe would want to see a catch weight. Is, is that at all possible? Is that a realistic fight for, for No Way? I know it's some weight classes between the two, 122, 135, but what do you make of that? Uh, and we started at 108, and now he's worked his way up. To 122. Wow. From 108 to 122. Uh, that's impressive. You know, that's impressive. I don't know when he, start, he started his career, but to go from 108 to 122 is pretty impressive. Not going to lie. I don't know what age he started his career because that's 108 to 122. Oh, okay, and that's, mm, that's 12 pounds. Okay, that's 12 pounds. That's not a lot of pounds. Matter of fact, my bad, that's 12 pounds, 108 to 122. That's not too much. Guys move up in weight all the time. I mean, but he's doing his thing. He's on his Manny Pacquiao type stuff. He is a tremendous star in Japan. Virtually nobody in Japan knows who Tank Davis is. And why would Inouye now, who is undersized at 122... Hey, yo, Bob Aaron says nobody in Japan knows who Tank Davis is. That's funny. I doubt that. If... Japanese people watch boxing, they know who Tank Davis is. Everybody in boxing know who Tank Davis is. Bob Aram is reaching. Talk about fighting a guy who's essentially a junior welterweight, a 140 pound. It makes absolutely no sense. I mean, no sense. A realistic fight for, for No Way? I know it's some weight classes between the two, 122, 135, but what do you make of that? Uh, and we started at 108, and now he's worked his way up to 122. He is a tremendous star in Japan. Virtually nobody in Japan knows who Tank Davis is. And why would Inoue now, who is undersized at 122, Talk about fighting a guy who's essentially a junior welterweight, a 140 pound. It makes absolutely no sense. I mean, no sense. Bob Merrim says it makes no sense for Javante Davis to fight Nioa in New Way. Um, he calls Javante Tank Davis a junior, uh, a junior welterweight, super lightweight. He believes Javante Tank Davis is a 140. 140 pound fighter, and he says it makes no sense for a new way to fight him. Uh, and I mean, would Inoue have any chance with uh, Shakur? Probably not. Shakur is way too big for him. You know, I mean, let's not carry it away. I mean, Terrence Crawford showed what a great fighter he was the other week, uh, but you wouldn't want to put him in with Tyson Fury. I think the the perceivement of a potential Davis and Noe fight is that Gervonta is is small. Hey yo, Bob Aaron just compare Tyson Fury and Crawford to Gervonta Davis and in New Way. That's crazy. He's like five five. He's he's around the same height. Maybe you know he is a bit more built than uh, No Way. But you know it's it's a fight that Tank has said he'd be open to it, and, and it's a huge fight. You know Tank sells here in the U.S. I mean, I know he sells in the U.S., but again, it doesn't 
it's not good for Inoue to rush up and fight guys who are so much bigger than he is. I don't care the stature of Tank. Tank is, that's why they call him Tank. Five minutes, fellas, five minutes. I appreciate it, man. Bob, Ar is, Bob Arum isn't stupid. He knows boxing. You can't just jump up a couple weight classes and think you're going to beat the, the other guy up there. It, okay, ju it just man, doesn't work boy, like man. that. LA all the way. Oh, come on, man. You know it's Boston. Dang. It just doesn't work like that, guys. So what Bob Arum is saying, it does make sense. No matter how good we think a new way is, you can't just jump up all them weight classes and, and jump in the ring with Tank. And Tank isn't just a basic fighter. He's a guy who sets traps. He's a big puncher. It could really end bad for Inoue if he does that right now. If he gradually moves up, it could be a much closer fight. Maybe he grows into the weight because Tank is a short guy, so he's not that much bigger than Inoue, just in stature but not when it comes to height. He's the bigger person. I mean, in a we looked like a, a shrimp compared to Fulton. I was there. I said, oh my God, this is going to be really tough. He handled Fulton easily. Well, let's see what he does with the Filipino. And then there are guys at 126 that will test him, like... Uh, Ramirez, Robesy Ramirez. Let's see how he does there to put him in. Man, that's a great fight. Robesy Ramirez versus Nioa Inoue. Unfreaking believable. This Inoue guy is really trying to take the pound for pound list because that's a great fight. That is a great fight. The uh, former Olympian. Gold medalist, Rabisi Ramirez, who beat Shakur Stevenson. If a new way goes up and way and fight him, that'd be awesome. With a 140 pounder, you, you gotta be stupid. And the Japanese are not stupid. Japanese in the business, uh, Ohashi, uh, Honda, they're good boxing people, they understand boxing. Given that then, and this is just me as uh, putting on like a fan hat now, uh, Vasily has told me in the past that, you know, hey, he's small for 135, that he could probably make 130. I know it, it is still a few weight classes, but is, is that more likely a, a Loma and Oib, or it's the same thing? Like, it's dumb to even think about something like that. It's dumb to think about it. Maybe a year from now, two years from now, it won't be. But right now it is. 122 is a reach for Inoue. It's not that, A, hey, he's starving himself to make the weight. No. I mean, it's, it, he has no problem making the weight. Most of his opponents, including the Filipino kid that he's going to fight, are much bigger than he is. So, again, uh, one step at a time. In your opinion, Bob, uh, I know given uh, the performance that Terrence had uh, a few weeks back against Errol Spence, uh, many have put him pound for pound number one, but some have argued that, hey, in no way could maybe be like 1B to Crawford's 1A. W what do you make of uh, the, the argument there that in no way could potentially be the top pound for pound guy? I think that pound for pound is stupid because uh, what are we measuring? I mean, it makes absolutely no sense. They never, because of the difference in size, ever you think of fighting each other. Uh, they're both great fighters. Uh, they're both pound for pound great fighters. Who is one? Who is two? Who gives a damn, right? I mean, it's like, do you like uh, uh, a chocolate uh, ice cream soda or a vanilla ice cream soda? Well, that, neither one is better than the other. It's a question of your taste. Welcome. Those are the words of Bob Arum. He doesn't really explain the pound for pound part. He doesn't really choose. He just says, pick whatever ones you like. 
when in reality you should have just said Terrence Crawford because of the level of competition he fought. I mean, it's just a simple answer. But it is what it is, Bob Aram. You know, he said what he had to say, and um, I kind of agree with him. Some people will probably get mad at Bob for saying he don't want to make the Tank versus a new fight yet. But he's smart. He knows you got to gradually move up and wait. It's stupid for a new to just jump up and fight Tank without beating guys in, in the other weight classes ahead of him, like 126. Like he was saying, Rabisi Ramirez. Man, and what a fight that would be. Rabisi versus Inoue. I would love to see that fight. And then um, there's guys like Gary Russell. There's a lot of guys in those weight classes. Before you even get to a uh, lightweight. You know, it is what it is, man. But yeah, guys, what do you think about what Bob Arum had to say? Javante Davis versus Inoue. It's just stupid to even think about it right now. The size difference is too much. Is enormous, according to Bob Aaron. But yeah, guys, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos like this. It's your boy, Easy Rule. I'm out.